Hey, welcome into the round pen with Duke here. Haven't made a video with him in about a month probably, or at least three weeks, uh, mostly because I've been preoccupied with Arabians. Um, but I have been riding him some. I think I have 12 rides up until now, and he's doing really well. He's just doing great. Let me ask him to I want to move out there. I haven't done this in a while either. He's doing really well. Um, you know, no colt's perfect. They all have their own thing. And his thing has just been, number one, he wasn't moving out very well. And if you recall the previous videos I did with him on ride number three, and I think the last one I made, I was actually, uh, I was actually had another horse in the arena and we were having him follow that other horse and so forth. So I kind of have worked through that. I'm pretty confident that he's not too, having too much problem with moving out and I'll get on him and ride him here in a minute and we'll double check it. Also, I haven't ridden him in the round pen in a while. Actually, yesterday I went over to my neighbor Susie's house. She's got a bunch of mama cows and uh, we rode him through the cows, tracked some mama cows and he, man, he did great. Uh, this horse's future, as far as, as is up to me, <laughs> is uh, that he's gonna be a cowboy racing horse and he's very well suited to it because he's just got a really good mind and he's not a great athlete, but for our sport, he doesn't need to be a great athlete. Cowboy racing horses need to be two things. They need to be brave and they need to be broke. So he's brave. He's not broke yet, but we're working on it. Now, the reason I'm doing this, I just tied his head around to the side, is because he's a bit stiff side to side. And I don't do this with most of the colts that I start. Probably 70, 80% of them, I don't do this because I don't need to. They're just, uh, but with him, I've had a little bit of resistance, especially when I ask him to move. He's not so much when I'm standing still, if I, he'll flex pretty good. But when I start asking him to move, he doesn't understand that he can trot around with his head bent. So this is just me helping him understand it's not a big deal. Um, and because he's been so, had, had trouble getting going, you know, moving out, I have not been riding him with spurs because as you should probably know, spurs are not for going forward. Spurs are for moving a horse sideways. So I haven't, he's not ready for me to start moving him sideways. I haven't done hardly anything with him moving sideways. And what I'm looking for here, by the way, is for that rein to get loose, like right there. See, it's getting a little loose. If it starts flopping around, that means he's giving to it and he's not being stiff. So it's getting better. Okay, ooh. Good, now let him stop there and think about it a minute. I wanna see that rein go loose. And I wanna see him lick and chew. And this is maybe the second time I've done this. Um, so I'm approaching his training just a little different than I do with most colts. Most colts by ride number, today will be number 13, I think. Most colts by the eighth or ninth ride, I'm wearing spurs and I'm doing a lot of moving their body parts and things like that. With him, I haven't done that. He's not quite ready for that. But I've, some things that he's ahead of the curve is loping and galloping. I can lope him and gallop him around the arena and he stays with me and does what I ask and turns when I ask him to turn. So that part, he's ahead. And the others, he's just a little behind, but I'm not the least bit concerned about it. Okay, now let's send him off again. Okay, good. I like that, that when I kissed, he took off. So that's something he's learned. I've got that in his brain now. Now he's being a little stiff. Now he's starting to loosen up. Go on. Good. All right. All right. So that's all I'm going to do with that for today. I'll probably come back tomorrow and do the other side. So let me just remind myself. Today I did the right, so tomorrow I'll do the left. <laughs> <laughs> Try to remember that. Good boy.
Good. I'm, I'm looking to see if he's soft, and he is. He's kind of letting that rain go slack, which means he's given to it. Good boy. All right. Good job, old buddy. Okay. Okay. And this colt has not shown any signs of doing anything he shouldn't do as far as he's not humped up at all except for I think it was on the second ride he did just a little bit and I had that it was on one of the vi previous videos and it was so minute you probably didn't even see it I felt it that's all he's done okay there we go bud so I don't ever get on a horse that's moving it's one of my personal rules there we go and he's far enough along that I don't need to bend his head to get on him I'm not concerned that he's gonna do anything that he shouldn't okay <laughs> there you go and that backing up right there that's just him saying well do you want me to back up he's just asking me do you want me to back up no I haven't backed him up hardly at all uh, because he needs to go forward <laughs> okay uh, that's something I don't think I'll have any trouble with it with him I've done it a lot on the ground and he does it well okay so now let me check this this flexion from the saddle and that's pretty soft right there that's that's pretty much two fingers soft right there good so he does it pretty well standing still and I didn't ask him to move because I didn't touch him with my legs I didn't squeeze to go I'm waiting on him to give to that. It's kind of important in these early rides that you help these horses understand the cues real clearly. Okay, there he gave to it. Uh, I want him to understand when I squeeze with my legs, that means go. If I don't squeeze with my legs, you don't go. Okay, nothing up here with the reins means go. Okay, the only thing it means is bend your head. So he's a little stiffer on this side. It's not bad. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna ask him to walk out. Um, and with him, I want some life in that walk, okay? I don't let him walk slow. And he's, he's naturally kind of lazy. And he's, <laughs> I told somebody the other day, he's kind of an old soul, you know? He's two years old and he acts like he's 18. He kind of, he just kind of like that. Um, but if I ask him to do something, I'm, I insist that he do it with energy. Okay, so I'm gonna ask him to trot off, and if he doesn't do it with energy, I'm gonna pop him with this bridle rein. Okay, you ready? All right, that's pretty good. So he did it with pretty good energy. Don't slow down. Let's go. Okay, good. Okay, now I'm gonna ask him to lope. Same thing, he needs to put a little effort into it. Here we go. There. First he didn't, and he saw me pick up the bridle rein. He said, okay, I'll, I'll work a little harder. Good. I also haven't worked very much on stopping this horse. Again, because I wanted to work on getting him to go. I can fix that later. Uh, but my horses stop when I quit riding them. Okay, he didn't stop very well but I didn't insist that he do that. I will later. I will insist that he stop better and then he do it correctly. But for now, what I'm teaching him is just pay attention to my body language. My body language is gonna tell you how fast to go and which way to go, okay? Um, as far as turning him, I'm already teaching him to turn off my leg, so I'm gonna turn left using my right leg, right there. And he turned pretty nice i didn't do much with the rain okay i'll do it again so he's starting to learn to work off my body okay that's pretty good now let me switch i'll look right push with my left leg add the rain didn't do quite as well i'm going to kick him a little because he 
he was kind of pulling toward the other horses there. Look, push, yeah. So still, I'm not using spurs. Um, you know, that'd get a little snappier if I did. So now I'll show you how I start working on the stop. Uh, one mis I think a lot of times people make a mistake, I believe it's a mistake, that they teach their horse to stop when they pull on their mouth. Uh, I don't think that's the right way to do it. I mean, I might do that later on, but I teach them to stop when my body tells them to stop. So I'll just ride him toward the fence here, take my legs off, and my body said stop, and the fence enforced what my body told him to do. Okay, now I'm going to pick this up because I've done this a few times. Bring that shoulder over and let's come over here. And ooh. okay, so that wasn't very good. Let's see if we can get it a little better. Come on, put some effort into it, bud. Here we go. And ooh. okay, good. Good. Come over here. Ooh. Now, if you watch my feet, watch my feet real carefully. I'm kind of over-exaggerating things because he's a baby and I want him to get it. So I'm going to come around here. Let's go. Watch my feet. Come on. We're going to go. We're going to go. Ooh. Okay. Because that really is what I want him to learn. All right. Let's turn this way. Okay. Good. I like the way he came out of there. It's pretty nice. Ooh. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so right there, I couldn't rock him back on his hindquarters because I haven't taught him that. <laughs> so that was kind of ugly coming out, but he's not responsible to do anything that I haven't taught him how to do. Come on. So let's come over here and stop again. There we go. Ooh, good. All right. I popped him on the shoulder to get that shoulder to move because I don't have a spur. But he'll figure it out. Let's do one more. Ooh. Okay, there, good. So he moved that shoulder really nicely. Really nicely. Now, last thing I'm going to do here is see if I can get him to go around with his head bent like he did earlier when I was doing it from the ground. There we go, good. I want him to just be able to walk and trot around here with his head bent, and he hadn't been able to do that yet. Okay. There we go. So he did it at a walk, not so well at a trot. Okay, there. Good. Good. It's not going to get good, but he can kind of get the hang of it here. There, good. See what I'm doing? Just asking him to bend it a little bit while he's trotting. And I don't care if he turns or not. I'm not even paying attention to that. There we go. Good. Okay. Ooh. 